In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Gmail with your Salesforce. Uh, so the first step is if you're using Chrome, you're going to want to uh, open up a new tab and Google search for um, the Gmail Salesforce integration. Once we have that, we want to scroll down to we see uh, Salesforce Lightning for Gmail from the Google Chrome uh, web store. Once this loads up, we just want to click on Add to Chrome. We want to add the extension. We can now see that Salesforce has been added to Chrome. Uh, so before we click on the icon, we're going to want to make sure we're signed in into our G Suite email. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my G Suite email. Once you're in your G Suite email, you could click on the little cloud icon and this window will pop up if it doesn't pop up automatically. Uh, so once you click on login with Salesforce, uh, this window will come up. And so I'm using my developer org for this example. I'm going to click on login. and you want to give it access. So let's just click on continue. It's gonna ask you to sign in into your uh, G Suite Gmail, uh, and then you just have to allow it. You wanna link the account, and we are good to go. So we can now click on go to Salesforce, and we now have access to our Salesforce from our Gmail. So I'm gonna close all these little pop-ups here. So from here, we can do a lot of things. We can log some emails that we receive. Uh, we can make some new tasks. Uh, there's a lot of different possibilities. So for example, if I open this email and I open the Salesforce plugin, you'll see that it was able to pull certain people. So we have my uh, Unibero email as well as we have uh, this person's email. So if I click on add to Salesforce, it'll ask me whether I want to create a new lead or a new contact. So if I, for example, want to make a new contact, it will pull all the important information that it found from the email. So we have the first name, we have the last name, we have the email, and that's all the information it has. Now we can fill in the rest if we want to. and then we can click on save. And furthermore, I can actually log this email so it's associated with co this contact, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on log email, and I am going to associate that uh, with uh, just her. I'm gonna click on save. Uh, so now I can even go back into my Salesforce, so let me put this away. And if I go now search for this contact, we can see that she now exists. And all that information that I pulled from that email is now here. And if I scroll down to the activities tab, uh, we can see that the email that I logged is now here as well. So that is how you integrate your Gmail with your Salesforce. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Have a good one.